Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, I wanted to give you a little makeup haul. I kind of have a few different stores, Sephora, Target, maybe some Ulta. Um, just some things I've been setting aside and meaning to show you guys. And some of it's new, some of it's just random stuff that I picked up. So let's just get started. The first thing was I ordered online. It's the Dermatology Needleless Serum. This is a restock for me. I really like this serum. It's very hydrating. It's good for my sensitive skin and it doesn't make my skin burn or anything like a lot of products do. It is called the Needleless Serum and I think that's trying to imply like it'll make you younger like Botox. It's not going to do that but it is really nice. It softens the skin, hydrates and I, I think it does tighten a little bit. I like to use that pretty much every night. Sometimes during the day as well. The next kind of skincare thing I got was this La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream for face and body a long name. Unfortunately, I have tried this over the last week and it's going to be a pass for me. The first couple of days I tried it and it was very hydrating and I was like, did I just find my new holy grail dry skin moisturizer because my skin has been drier than it ever has. Like it's, you, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's peeling, it's flaking off, everything I do have makeup on, so hopefully it looks a little better. But it's been red, it's been irritated, it's been so, so dry. So I gave this a shot just because it is a little bit more of an affordable option for the size that you get. And after... I think two days of using it, my skin was really soft, but I started to get clusters of blemishes everywhere. I don't usually break out. I use tretinoin and that typically leaves my skin pretty clear. So I knew when I had like six down here, a couple up here and like my forehead looked so congested, I knew it was unfortunately this moisturizer. So I am going to continue to use it for the body. I think it will work fine for that. Hopefully I don't break out on my body, but typically I don't ever. So I got that. Another thing I got, I already opened it. It's the Ordinary Multipeptide. It's kind of dirty. I spilled, I'll show you a product that I got and I used it just now to do my makeup and I spilled it everywhere. Um, this is the Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum. I am a fan of Grande Lash Serum. I do have it right now. That is what I'm currently using. And these are fake lashes, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I'm not like, like saying like oh, I have the longest lashes but I do like to use it just like to see if it grows and I do have success from the grande lash as long as you keep using it it doesn't really work after you use it but I figured when that ran out I would try a more affordable option just because it can get kind of expensive for a small amount and I do like the peptide hair peptide drops that the ordinary has I love a lot of the ordinary products I just think they're so simple, but they are super effective. So I picked up that and I will give you an update once I start trying them. The next thing is kind of strange, but I thought I would share it. This is the Native Body Wash in the Candy Shop Collection, the Sour Berry Belts fragrance. If you love candy, if you love sour candy, this smells... It doesn't just smell like a body wash that smells kind of like candy. It smells exactly like the candy. Sour Berry Belts are my absolute favorite candy. Give me some of that with some popcorn, a little salty, sweet, sour. Oh, okay. But this smells so good. A lot, I think a lot of people wouldn't like to smell like candy. My husband thought it was weird, but it smells so good. I'm obsessed. I'm probably going to like stock up before they get rid of this collection because I really love it. I picked up another mini of my squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen from Biosonance. I love the minis because I just throw them in my purse and my bag when I'm traveling. This is a really great sunscreen. It doesn't smell heavy on SPF. It has a little bit of like a purple tint, but I think it, it dries down pretty clear. It's definitely not like white and it doesn't break my skin out, so it's a plus. I love that for my face. Another thing I got was a Loving Tan Platinum Ultimate Self Tanning Mousse. I haven't tried it. I did get this kind of a while ago, but I still haven't tried it. It says it's for experienced tanners only. I don't think I'm that good at self tanning, but I have done it probably like more than 50 times. So we're saying that's experience. So I'm excited. I got the big one just because I feel like the Loving Tan with these thick thighs kind of doesn't last a long time. If you got a little bit more meat, it can definitely go fast, especially if you're being really thorough. So I got that to be determined on if it's like too dark. I got, this is kind of random, the NARS Eda brush. I'll show you. This is like very 2016 of me. It's this brush. You probably would remember it if you're like a makeup guru watcher back then. But it's just like a little contour brush and I actually love it. It actually blends so well. I feel like my contour is like 
really snatched. It doesn't give like a super harsh line, which I was a little afraid. Is it worth $50? I don't know, but I'm happy I got it. Also picked up another mini of my K18 leave-in molecular repair hair mask. Like I said in my 2022 favorites video, I have been loving this now that I actually know how to use it properly. You have to really, really rub it together um, until it becomes like a thick white paste and then it'll go very far with a little bit of amount of product and my hair always feels a million times better and I do feel like it's getting healthier. It helps repair. So I don't feel like this is like a stam or anything. I think it's really good, but I like to get the mini because the big size is $75 so picked up another Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter I did order it and I did get the wrong shade scent but I can't be bothered to return it and I actually used it today as my bronzer and I really liked it I definitely think you don't really need this as a bronzer but since I have it I'm gonna use it and I think it is really pretty and they never have my shade in the store so I'd have to like try to see if I can reorder it and then return this and I'm just not gonna do that but I've actually been liking it. I think it gave a nice bronze and I love the finish that these Hollywood Flawless Filter things give. Got these at Ulta in the clearance section. They were $26 and I got them for $6.50. These Blinking Butte lashes. This is a lot of packaging for a pair of lashes but it was in the checkout under the clearance and they look pretty just like kind of wispy. So $6.50 that's not bad if they were originally like $30 almost. Like every pair of lash comes in one of these like you'd be like I don't know. I don't know what you'd be. <laughs> These are the Cali Ray. They're kind of dirty because I used them just now. Cali Ray Just Add Rays Glow Boosting Drops Face and Body. I got these because I've been seeing the Drunk Elephant ones go viral and I do have those but I think mine is a little expired and I just wanted to see how this would compare. I don't. I do think this will last you a lot longer. It's a lot more liquidy. I did unfortunately spill half the bottle because I knocked it over and it spilled all over my little makeup desk. I'm I'm doing okay. I'm processing with that. But yeah, I think they're nice. I've been mixing them with my moisturizer and I really like these because a lot of times I don't put self-tanner on my face because I'm worried it'll break me out or cause irritation. So I like having something like this that I can add into a moisturizer to kind of even out. I don't have any tanner on right now as you can clearly see but I still like them. And then the last little thing, I think this is the last, is the new Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Highlighter. This is like the, what is it called? Like Face Tech or Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I got the shade Pillow Talk. I really love the shade Pillow Talk in the liquid glow wands. I just think it's a really pretty shade and that's what I have on today. I think it looks stunning. Definitely don't be afraid of the Pillow Talk shade if you're a little bit more fair in complexion because it doesn't have like a really bad cast or anything. It actually like, it, I think it's like the fourth or the third shade in the like description but it definitely works good on my skin tone and I just love like that little bit of pinkiness. I think that's just like my preferred color these days. I always felt like gold didn't look good and it would leave a cast and then like the really pale ones I feel like sometimes they kind of wash me out but I've been really liking this. I would say go for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I know a lot of people are talking about the Rare Beauty but this one is so gorgeous. I can't speak to the other one but I just think it gave such a like I pretty much like bathed in it and I feel like it looks really really glowy and fantastic. Is that everything? I think that's it. So yeah that was my kind of little hodgepodge of some new beauty products that I got in my collection and let me know what you've been buying lately or what you've been eyeing. There's definitely some more things I've been eyeing but I'm trying to trying to take my time in making beauty purchases because it gets very expensive when you're buying everything that seems interesting to you so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on these products if you want to see any of these products in action and i'll see you guys next time bye